Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Slow Blink Anime Podcast. My name is Phil. I'm Candice. And today we are talking about another Kakegurui Season 2 episode. It's episode 7 and 8. And this is going to be covering 7, the tra- Taurus Girl. And 8, the unde- <laughs> Traitorous Girl. And 8, the Undefeatable Girl. Yeah, but this is the one that's covering... Um, what is the gamble called? The Greater Good Game. Mm-hmm. And... Some of the characters, all the, like a quick setup of it. It's um, Sumeragi goes to um, Totobami, like the one that's got the second most votes. That's the the girl that's in the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> she she goes to her and they set up this gamble, and I think the whole reason she's trying to do it because she has feelings for Manyuda. It's the guy, one of the student council mem- members <coughs> that uh, Yumiko beat and like took pretty much all his money. Mm-hmm. And I, she's she doesn't like the way he's acting now. He's like real depressed and submissive. Uh, this is not the same person that she, I guess, she admired. Mm-hmm. And I think the whole reason she was doing this was for for his sake. Right. Girls in love. <laughs> yeah, but um, they she sets it up with <laughs> girls in love. <laughs> she sets it up with Totobami. And the people involved, they, they call uh, Yumiko, of course, and Sumeragi is going to be in it, and Manyuda gets to be in it, and Obami is one of it's the one of the guys that are from the Bami the, clan, the one that looks like a rock star, yeah, with the spiky hair pulled back, and uh, Honebami, she's the one that had the shorter hair, and it's the it was long tail hair, yeah, Wait, is that her? It's What's her other Miraslava? Miraslava, this one. Yeah. Yeah, but they're the ones that got invited to, and then they they come into the room, and they see that Totobami is there, and like they ask her if she's going to be participating, but she says no. She just organized this whole thing, and it's the the greater good game, which was this is one of the ones that I really liked because it's um, it reminds me of like you know when we play faking it from okay. the. <laughs> On the like, uh, um, Jackbox party yeah. games. Mm-hmm. And, like, you have to kind of lie to people and trick them and, like, state your case. And okay. Stuff like that. And I, I really like doing stuff like that. And just, like, the mind games you can play and then, like, the back mm-hmm. and forth and, like, do you trust this person? Do you not trust this person? Yeah, I like and, those, too. And that's, like, the whole basis of this game. So, the the rules, this is kind of, it's a little bit complicated. Um so the goal, you have to get at least 40 coins to be a winner in this game. And each player is going to get five coins at the beginning of the game. And they're going <laughs> to, this is kind of, it's pretty difficult. So they each, they're each going to take turns going into this one room that's got a personal box or a tax box. And mm-hmm. they have the choice of putting their coins into either one. Mm-hmm. If they put it in the personal box, they get to keep all that money for themselves. Mm-hmm. If they put it in a tax box, um, any player, if all, if, if the players, any amount of money that's put into that box by any of the players mm-hmm. gets doubled and then distributed back to all the players. Okay. So the, the kind of. And then plus they keep. And they keep whatever's. Whatever they did not give to the tax box. Yeah, if they put it in a personal box. Unless they gave everything to the tax box. Yeah. Okay. Yep. This is a little confusing. Yeah. But it's the the kind of like kicker of the game is that if everyone just keeps their money and does it in their personal box every time, nobody can win because they won't get it won't add up to 40 points. So the whole discussion is about you working together with these other people but at the same time not knowing if you can trust them. So that's kind of like the basis of the whole game. So they of to have a winner, you have to pay into the tax box. Yeah. Okay. So that's like the the setup. And <clears throat> so Yumiko's playing, um, Sumeragi, Manyuda, and the two Bami members, the guy and then mm-hmm. the girl. So they start off, and then right at the beginning, Yumiko decides that we should just all pay everything into the tax. That way we can, like, build trust, and that way we can start off getting a good amount of money back. So mm-hmm. we'll all have a good amount of coins. Okay. So right off the bat, we have somebody not paying into it, because okay. uh, like yeah. they did the math afterwards, and somebody like clearly didn't pay. 
So someone's ahead and someone's a liar. So they're trying to figure that out. And did you, what did you think about any, like, did you think it was, did you have any idea who it was from that point or? I knew open? that it wasn't the guy. Because from the beginning, he looked like an, just a complete idiot for me. <laughs> um, you mean the bomby guy? Old yeah. Bomby? Okay. The bomby guy. Yeah. Not the white haired guy. Okay, for a second Obama. there, for a second, I thought it was the white hair guy. What's his name? Keep forgetting. Oh, uh, Manuda. Manuda. Yeah. Because all this time, the other people in the group have been arguing and have been pointing fingers and have been working on how to get this right. But Manuda, for quite some time, he's been so quiet and has not been talking. So at first, I was like, hmm. Why is he not participating in this? Does he just like watching all of them fight all of this Mm -hmm. while he just, you know, like he's, he he knows, like maybe he did this on purpose. Like he wants all of them to fight over it and talk about it, whatever. But then I was like, "Mm, it wouldn't be that too obvious because then it probably is not the person that you would think first. Mm -hmm. It's not the person that you would think the most suspicious looking. It would be the one that would look the least suspicious. But that's where I got confused. I was like, well, all of them are pretty much least least suspicious to me. I mean, Yumeko, 100%, no doubt she could be one of the people that's betraying. Because she's the main character. She's the one that has been been kind of um, getting the whole group together, working together. Mm -hmm. And creating all these different ideas to make it work. Mm Mm-hmm. But then I don't know. See, this is why I love this. I love this gamble because I was just like, I was confused. Like the whole time I was trying to figure out yeah. who could it be, and it. I mean, at that moment, I was like, it could be anybody. I had no idea either. Like, I was <laughs> trying to think about it. Well, like my what I was thinking, what it was like the uh, Obama guy because it was he just seemed like really <laughs> dumb. So I'm like, he can't be this dumb to be competing with all these people no like, he Fred, all the other bomby members are so smart and i know but then i was like, I was like he's gotta be put on a show or something i was like no i feel like no he straight up looks like an idiot to me i was like this guy's a genius <laughs> <laughs> this guy nobody so i admitted the two guys the all bomby guy and manuda and then from there i could not figure out between the other three which one it is and so i was just yeah I was confused. Yes, I, I was confused. <laughs> but at least I eliminated two people. <laughs> I was like, for sure it's the dude. <laughs> he. So anyway, that, that was the first round. Yeah. And from that point... Oh, sorry. See, um, Yumiko again like takes the lead and she's like, this time I'm going to give each person a number, like a piece of paper with a number on it. Yeah. And you donate that amount of coins. So this time, uh, in theory, she could be able to figure out which one will not give enough yeah by the the total at the end so yeah so they do the round that time and everyone thinks like oh we're good or she thinks we're good and they come back and then the numbers like significantly lower than what Mm -hmm. she thought it was so yeah from that information they can assume that there's two traders now Mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah and uh, immediately they start uh i think ended off the uh, the seventh episode they think it's Yumiko. Like, they think okay. it's her. Like, she's one of the traitors, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to... I was just trying to remember. <clears throat> but that that was, like, the whole... I, I think even the show makes you think that it's Yumiko lying to... Just, like, from the impression she's given and how she's the one that, like took hold of the reins and was guiding this whole game from the beginning yeah yeah but um did you think it was yumiko at that point I, like what i told you like i wasn't i was really confused between the three of them mm-hmm. like after after i eliminated the two guys between the three of them to be honest with you like i was i had no idea like it could be any of them because <clears throat> i know that uh what's her name the one that's in love Manuda. Sumeragi. Yeah, Sumeragi. And so I, I I know it could also be Sumeragi, like 100%, no doubt it could be her because she's the one who's all acting innocent and 
defensive and everything. Mm-hmm. And that's also like a classic sign of somebody lying mm-hmm. um, or hiding something. Yeah. And then the other girl. Yeah, didn't uh, Sumeragi accuse uh, Obami and uh, the, Miroslava? Yeah. Of being working together just because they were both Bami clan members. Yeah. That was one of them. Yeah. And I I knew that whoever, one of the first people that would point fingers would be, most probably be the one that's lying or hiding something. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's, it's just classic liar to me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but I was just confused. And Miros, me... Miroslava also, um, no doubt it could also be her just because she just seemed one of those people that's just probably smart and Mm -hmm. can be manipulative too. And it just confused me between the three of them. Yeah. So I I don't know. I was confused the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So they, uh, uh, moving on from there, the next, like the way they figured out who the, how did they figure out? Well, um, Yumeko and Manuda kind of took the role of being the traitors. Like, people thought they were, it was them for sure. But they discovered that it was actually uh, Sumeragi and Honebami, <clears> or <throat> Miroslava. But the way they, they found out was, um, you, how did Yumeko eliminate them? She said it was not me for sure. Sh- it was uh, Manuda that actually found out. Mm-hmm. She said it was not me for sure, and it wasn't... Um, Yumiko because something <laughs> <laughs> he limited Yumiko and then that means it would have to be someone that's in um, consecutive order because they had no way to prep before the they found out the rules of the game so it would have had to been someone that was in like a person and the person right after that person mm-hmm. that was going into the room so what what he what they discovered was that Sumeragi went first and then she was leaving notes for Miroslava afterwards, like donate this amount of money and or like do this and do this. And she was just um, following, going along with it. And that's how they were able to determine who the traitors were for the game. And they were able to eliminate uh, Miroslava. And by doing so, um, Sumeragi was the winner of the gamble, the greater good gamble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was crazy, like how they... Well, he kind of like got his smunk back by doing that, mm-hmm. and I think that was the what uh, Sumeragi was wanting wanting from the whole game. Like she didn't even care about winning the the points for the presidency or any of that. So she she's obsessed with she, him. Yeah, she just wanted to get him and his himself back. And we find out after that, and then like um, Miroslava like attacked Sumeragi, right? Mm-hmm. And that was like a weird interaction. <laughs> like she just like she got mad, and then she was like, "I respect you. You're like you're the only one that could beat me like this." Damn for the drama and yeah, shit. And they were fine, but then we find out there was like a, a side bet going on with Totobami mm-hmm. and uh, Sumeragi. So mm-hmm. Sumeragi bet that Manuda would lose, right? Something. Yeah, he would lose. Because he didn't get 40 coins. No, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, she bet that uh, Manuela would lose. And then Totobami bet that he would win. And to win, you have to get at least 40, po- 40 uh, coins. And he did get 40 coins. So Manuela won. Is that what happened? <laughs> Let me see. Let's get... Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I didn't say it. But they had a side bet, and um, really, Sumeragi ended up giving all her points to Totobami. Mm-hmm. So, like, all that was kind of for nothing, but she she said, too, that she ended up winning anyway because she got uh, Manuda back. Mm-hmm. So it was like a win-win for her, win-win situation. Yeah. Yeah, but I did enjoy this. Yeah, I did. I did, too. Yeah, so I, I think it was interesting. This one um, that you actually had to pay attention while you were watching. The tax part was just... It, was, it confused me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just because... 
I mean, every time we watch this anime, we're eating, and I can't take my eyes off of the freaking TV. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, half of the time, we're so hungry that we just chomp on food. And then mm-hmm. probably as part of why, like, I don't pay attention as much. But anyway, we need to pay attention more. <laughs> Remember some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but I did, I did like this episode a lot and this gamble. Um, yeah, let us know what you guys thought. Did y'all like the this gamble more than the other one? For sure, this was better than the You Me one with Hollywood and all that. So far, what's your favorite gamble from this season? Mm, probably this one from this really? season, yeah. But I think the one that happens next, I like more than this one. It's Because hmm. we have seen it. It's the one with the tower and Kirari, hmm. the president. I, I really like that one, too. Yeah, I like that one too. Um, and the whole like the aftermath of it mm-hmm. and what they were betting. Uh, I don't care much about the aftermath. What? <laughs> I mean, like we'll okay. talk about it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like and subscribe if you like the video and the episode. Thank y'all for listening, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit. And you can listen to us on all the major podcasting sites and apps. Thank y'all for listening, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>